Let me show you how to use Crumple Pop Face Blur. So the first thing you're going to want to do is drag Face Blur onto your clip and then select the area that you want tracked. Now if you want more blur than the area you're tracking, you can do that with the controls in Face Blur C. I'm just going to select this face because I know it will track well. Uh, and then I'm going to raise the blur amount and then I'm going to actually scale up the blur a bit and then choose the oval setting. Let me use the fall off so it's a little less harsh. You can also shift the blur using these tools as well. And then I'm going to hit track. One thing you want to make sure when selecting an area is that there's not objects moving in front of it uh, or, or blocking it because this can cause issues with tracking. So you may need to experiment a little bit to get exactly what you want. So now that we have all that selected and it's tracked, let's play it back. It looks great. And that's how you use Crumple Pop Face Blur.